for the master of disaster. And the Chainsaw Champion of Royal Oak, Michigan. And your host. Where are you from, sir? 
sir? I am from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. That says a lot. <laughs> The what now? Army of Darkness. When he wakes up in the future. How does he, how does Ash come back into present day time? Because uh, in the, you're, you're referring to the version of the movie that nobody wanted. <laughs> So the studio made us reshoot the ending. For you, apparently. <laughs> Not for the good of the movie. So Ash is already back in modern times, sir. But you pirated that DVD. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, could we have the question that can actually be answered? Uh, yes, sir. Right there. Yeah. How much creative input do I have on Ash vs. Evil Dead? A fair amount. I'm the one who decides what's going to come out of Ash's mouth. So I tell the writers, write good stuff or don't be surprised what you see in the dailies. It's a very uh, friendly challenge we have. Yes, sir, Mr. Striped Shirt. Mr. Campbell, what is the fascination with Jacksonville? The fascination with Jacksonville, Florida. Correct. Uh, we picked a town that no one would care about. <laughs> Not against Jacksonville, Florida, I'm sure it's a perfectly mundane uh, place. It's actually quite a large city. I'm sure they're struggling right now. So. Let's only make so much fun of Jacksonville, Oregon. Yes, right here. Besides Nash, my favorite character. Well, look, if the check clears, that's a good character. <laughs> so what's your, what's your favorite? You're the one who put my kids through college. What's your favorite? Portrayal of Elvis. <laughs> Elvis at 68 years old with cancer on his penis. <laughs> it's just the movie, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, it's just, I didn't write it. I didn't write this weird movie. But thank you for that. Yeah. I work with an Elvis impersonator. Yeah, for like five minutes. <laughs> and now the guy, the guy quit. And then he goes, oh, just forget it, man. You're never going to get it. <laughs> Well, I got it enough, you know. What does he know? <laughs> Was he in the movie? No. Did he get the part? No. Sour grapes, sir. <laughs> yes, in the back. In the back-ish, yes. Why was Ash no longer working at S-Mart? Why is Ash no longer working at S-Mart? Because it was purchased by Value Stop in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a silly question and get a sillier answer. gentlemen a question in return. In movies, where does the music come from? Right? Am I right? Do we know where the music comes from? No, because it's all make-believe, isn't it, sir? Yes, right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You wrote that question down? Craziest thing I've ever had to do to prepare for a role. Um, well, you know, you shouldn't be watching my stuff. <laughs> what, you, you're referring to like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Like, what did I have to do to prepare for that, right, kid? The cars, too. How did I prepare? Yeah. Kirby the Love Bug. How did I prepare for that? <laughs> There's no crazy thing to prepare. You just you learn your lines. And it's really the basics. Are you going to be an actress? Do you want to be an actor? Not really. That's it. 
you're a very rational kid. <laughs> It's a chump's job most of the time. Like tonight. No, that's all good. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. Right there, yes. So you're doing your signings. I'm doing my signings. And premieres. Premieres. I don't really know. Oh, I'm doing five or six premieres this year. You gotta have a movie to have a premiere. But sure. What? When those are happening. <laughs> Does my wife get the final say of my wardrobe? <laughs> not, not anymore. No, no, because I've gone a little more toward the Lawrence Welk side of things now. <laughs> she doesn't want any part of it. She's like, you have fun with your little outfits. Yes, right there. Yeah. Yes. What was it like working with Ossie Davis? What was it like working with Ossie Davis, the great Ossie Davis from Bubba he was great. He was 83. It was one of the last, second to last movie he ever did. I was like, Ossie, I know why I'm in Bubba Hotel. I know that. Why, why are you in Bubba Hotel? He said his grandkids were Evil Dead fans. And, and, and Alright, so first day. Alright, face down on the floor, Ossie. Here we go. Welcome to Bubba Hotel. <laughs> yes, right there. Yes, Chainsaw. Chainsaw Boy. Hey, uh, are there any plans for a meet No, 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 no. You're in a different county. <laughs> right, right here. Yeah. Chainsaw Man. Yeah, yeah that, that guy. Yes. Favorite scene to make with Ash vs. Evil Dead? It's a very challenging question because uh, scenes that are fun to make are hard to watch. Right? Scenes that are hard to make are easy to watch, right? It was easy for you to watch my head go up back and down his butt. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. You went, I'm going to watch that again, doesn't matter. Yeah. He's got it on a loop. It's on his phone. It's his, it's his ringtone. Long chainsaw in the back. Foam chainsaw person. Is there a chance that Mia will return? A chance that what? Mia will return. Mia, you're referring to Mia, the character in the Evil Dead remake. Yes. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I believe enough of us heard that. The gentleman who suggested who cares. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> If I had a chance to do any lollygagging, you're referring to some lollygagging photographs that I retweet. Yeah, my, my Twitter account is either walking in nature or carnage and mayhem. It's one of the two. So, uh, yeah, I've had a chance to do some of that. Yes, yes. You to see more Briscoe County. That show is now 23 years old, sir. I think you're too old for it now. Yes, right here. Uh, Comet, what happened to him? Comet, the horse from Briscoe. What happened to him? Uh, probably some dog food right about now. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Would a horse be live 24 more years? Yeah. No. Thank you for bringing up that unhappy topic. All the horses from Briscoe are dead. So. <laughs> Some horse person would have gone, no man, no, they're all dead, they're all dead. I know, I know my horses and they're dead, they're so dead. So, the truth hurts, but in the end you'll feel so much better. Yes. What's that? Do I prefer Evil Dead 1 or 2? Are you ignoring Evil Dead 3? Or? Well, I'm not going to answer your snotty ass question. Army of Darkness was my favorite. I'm not going to compete with myself. <laughs> Trick question. Yes. I like when people stand up. We can all see who's asking the question. So, tattoos is 
inspired by your work? Creepy. Tattoos inspired by my work. Creepy? Creepy? Or cool? My father was in advertising in Detroit for 30 years. To him, those are walking billboards. <laughs> He's like, you can't even scrub that crap off. <laughs> I, I met a gentleman who was a, a, a Iraq war veteran, and he put a photograph uh, in front of me that was the poster from Army of Darkness, but it looked a little weird. I go, why does that look weird? He goes, because that's a picture of my back. <laughs> he took off his t-shirt, his entire back was the poster of Army of Darkness. <laughs> Those of you who have tattoos, that's a little bit of ink. There's a lot of dark ink, too. I don't recommend that, folks. I don't, unless you got nothing else to do for a long time. Yes? Will I come back and annoy Peter Parker in more Spider-Man? You know, honestly, if I hadn't been in the first three Spider-Man movies, here's what would have happened. If I wasn't in the first movie as the ring announcer, this billion dollar franchise would be called The Human Spider. <laughs> I called him the right nickname of The Amazing Spider-Man. So I named Spider-Man. Do you realize that, sir? <laughs> Part two, I'm a snooty usher. Peter Parker wants to see his girlfriend in a play, but he's late. I don't let him in, do I? Because it'll spoil the illusion. Guess what? Technically, I'm the only character who's ever defeated Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider D, Spider-Man comes to me for help. How often do superheroes come to mortals for help? Like zero times, sir. Zero times. Did I help him out? Not really, because he's kind of a D-bag to be in the first two movies. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. Yes, uh, uh, kid. Yes, kid. Yes. Nice and loud, kid. Like, like you're at an auction. I just want to know. What is your favorite quote that you said yourself, Ash Williams, from Army of Darkness? My favorite quote? Yes. Well, sorry. I'll tell you one that might not be fully appropriate for you, but you're here tonight. Uh, one, uh, a line that Ash says in Army of Darkness is, give me some sugar, baby. Kid, where, where, where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be hiding now. <laughs> the guy at a signing just like this came up to me and said, Thank you for giving me some sugar, baby. <laughs> I said, Why are you thanking me? He goes, Well, I worked in China. And I had to give me some sugar, baby, translated into Mandarin. I went into a bar in Beijing and used it on a lady and got laid. <laughs> Sorry, young man, that means we had sex with that. <laughs> I hope you have a long car ride home. Mom, <laughs> he's going to find out soon enough. I have alert for someone who knows what's going on. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. Um, my question is, what did you spend money on from what you made from Congo? What did I spend money on? <laughs> what I made on Congo. <laughs> Better actor than that. 
<laughs> Sir, you started this with your silly question. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say 75,000. 75,000. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> it would have been nice to have made that. <laughs> I just meant that that's something really nice. <laughs> okay, let's do like three more questions and then we'll, we'll get on to the evening. Yes, sir. Considering the humble beginnings of evil dead. surprised by the pop cultural impact of the movie? No, because there's been very little pop culture impact. Yeah, that's why they call it a cult movie, because it doesn't... There's no Taco Bell tie-in anywhere. No, video games... No, sir, it's just mostly just you and your friends. They're basically all here tonight. City, yes, ma'am. Okay. A question that does not apply to any of this. Those are, those are the best. Yes? You want to age gracefully. My skincare routine. Let's not go there. Let's not.
here's a crappy out of focus shot. <laughs> now I didn't want to talk to him for 10 seconds. I wanted to not have any communication and take a shitty photograph. <laughs> Knock yourself out. We won't stop you or help you. <laughs> Aside from that, we'll get at it. We'll sign all your books. I don't get out of here until everybody's got their thingamajigs done. Thank you for coming, Uncle. Woo! Woo! Woo!